All right, class, this is going to be my first attempt at a video to post, so bear with me, and we're going to go through the animal cell. So lots of different types of animal cells. This is a general one. It's going to apply universally. So first, most important structure we have here would be the cell membrane. And this is keeping things internal that should be kept internal and keeping things that are external that should be kept external. You can kind of think of it as like the skin of the cell. We have internally, doesn't have to be necessarily in the middle, but typically is, the nucleus. The nucleus is where all of the DNA is kept. There's DNA inside here, very, very tightly wound, looks kind of like balls of spaghetti all throughout the inside. Then we have what you all so lovingly say, the powerhouse of the cell, the mitochondria. This is where sugar gets fully metabolized in the cell. Right outside of the DNA, we have a complex that we call the endoplasmic reticulum and floating around along the endoplasmic reticulum are ribosomes. Essentially we're going to get more in detail. DNA is the code for making proteins and when the code comes out the proteins are constructed here. Now, there's all kinds of stuff going on. There's going to be messes made, things broken down, and things that need to be removed from the cell. And that's why we get the lysosomes. This is the cleanup crew of the cell. And sometimes things need to be made and shipped outside of the cell. This is why we have the Golgi body. The Golgi body, you can think of it as the packaging company. Golgi body, Golgi complex, packages, materials to export from the cell. You can watch this a couple of times if you need to, and we will discuss more in class. Thank <laughs> you.